News on the Monday. We need new milk. <laughs> right then. <clears throat> it's Monday the 24th <laughs> of August. It's my birthday. It is your birthday. 24th Happy of birthday, August, Baz. yeah, thanks, yeah. 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 And I never just, thought I'd get to 3.30. Here's some, uh, here's some stuff you probably didn't know you needed to know. <laughs> What have you got for us? What have we got? Well, first on the massive list of um, exciting news um, that we don't have is um, the Thunder Arena dates have been rescheduled. Yes, some. which is uh, extremely good news, to be honest, and in very important news. Hmm. The uh, well, there's been a, a few shows left over from the end of the year that we've had to rearrange for next year, and the dates of those rearrangements have uh, come in. Yeah, yeah. And those dates are May the twenty second yep. for the uh, support show of uh, Thunder, Thunder's tour, and mm -hmm. that's at Leeds, Leeds Motor Point Arena. And then the following night, as it would happen, we are rescheduled for... Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild Festival. They, and, and they have announced the full lineup now, which, um, and they've added an extra day uh, on the Thursday, and the lineup is, uh, the lineup is fantastic. Looks great, doesn't it? It, it, it really, really, really does, yeah. yeah. They've added some really strong, strong acts to the, to the lineup. Not that it wasn't good anyway, but Ricky Warwick's been announced. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 mean, I didn't know if he's just been announced, he's been announced for a while, but um, I, I only saw that the other day when I had a good look at the poster, Ricky Warwick. Yeah, yeah, ho hopefully it'll be a, a massive success for the organisers because they work, really worked hard at it, yeah. Great, yeah. great people. Yeah, so that's the 23rd, or oh, that's the night we're playing, the 23rd, Sunday the 23rd, but you can get full weekend tickets. Yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. Some some good news from the uh, some actual industry news. Uh, Germany being the fourth biggest market in the world for music. Is it really? It is. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah, it is. The it fourth. Is. Yeah, fourth. It's huge. Behind what? America, yeah. Japan. Yep. Yeah. Was. Yeah. And then Germany. Yeah. Right. Okay. That was well a good guess, wasn't it? Well, that was great. <laughs> I'm impressed. They've reported. Uh, I think it's like about a five percent increase in overall revenue compared to this this quarter for last year. Which is massive, really, when you consider yeah. the circumstances. But I think CDs took an absolute nosedive. Right. But vinyl and streaming is up like massively, and that's what's kind of carried it all. Ironically, we we actually, yeah, we, we actually uh, we actually chat. Did we chat in a German chat? Was it? It sounds like the sort of thing we should have really researched before we. Would it, yeah, uh, I wouldn't get told, but just, just, yeah, yeah, I didn't, really, didn't think about it. But I didn't, I didn't know you. Were no, I, that, I, so. I, I, I didn't know. I, I, just I off would... the top of my head, yeah, I think we did, and I think banging in your stereo as, as a single, might have charted in something, a rock chart. Crazy, yeah, and and our streaming, which is always nice. It's always been really strong for us in Germany streaming. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Billy Balloon. The whole was crazy. So it's it's really interesting to see. Obviously, with the shops being shut, there's actually been a real dip in, they call them AAA releases, you know, where the huge megastars, they've not wanted to release albums during this period because, yeah. you know, they can't tour, they can't maximise it. Whereas a uh, pond life like us, we've got no choice. We've got to take, well, you can take advantage of it, don't you? Yeah, we, t we jump in that gap. Exactly. Well, while, while they're not releasing, you know, we, we get some, um, yeah, we make some miles up, don't we? Yeah, they, so that was, that was an re official report from the German Music Industry Association. I think they're called the uh, B. <laughs> we got sent, we got sent that one officially directly. <laughs> yeah, they got they said they got the Yahol. Yahol, make sure uh, wagons. Make, make sure you mention this on the news. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to stop doing these German accents. We, I didn't do a German yeah, accent. You did in the last bit. <laughs> got a lot of German fans, and we, we, you know we. we well, love they guys. can send in English um, impressions. I love I love watching foreigners do. Impressions of English people. I guess we, we've just been closely watching the what's happening live wise for next year 2021. We've planned a lot of live shows mm. and it's all you can really do. You know, you can't hang fire and wait for the 100% all clear on this. No. You've got to just plan ahead and react to the changes. But it's been nice to see more, more sort of bigger established bands start announcing their tours. Yeah. Mid mid twenty gives you a little bit of confidence in what you're doing, doesn't it? It does, know? it does. It may, and it shows that well, you know, they stand a lot more to lose from their investment, even just the planning and marketing yeah, yeah, stages. So if they if they're going for it, then it, it's it's all it's all good signs. I'm going to tentatively say that things are looking positive. Well, it's been a slow news week. It was um, well the other day, in fact, earlier in the week, it was Kenny Rogers' birthday. Yeah, that's how slow the news has been. Kenny Rogers, his birthday, he's dead. 
Yeah, he died, didn't he? He died yeah, in March, yeah, yeah. so it would have been yeah. his birthday <laughs> last week. Happy birthday, Kenny. Happy birthday, Kenny. If you're up there, yeah, don't take your love to town and all that. Yeah, Kenny Rogers, big, uh, we've mentioned it once or twice, but we're quite into our country. Yeah. So, mainly the classic, uh, the classics. Old country league. Yeah, but Kenny Rogers is uh, a... <laughs> discussing Kenny Rogers. But he is, he is classic songs, man. If you, I, I, you just... He's one of them artists you can go and buy a, a Kenny Rogers Greatest Hits for probably about two quid from yeah. HMV or somewhere, and it's just full full of sing along, Coward of the County. Full of bangers. Full of bangers. Lucille. Lucille is just the greatest. We, that, was like a, that was like a kind of a Massive Wagons anthem for a while, wasn't it? We exchanged the phrase Lucille for O'Neill. We did. We did. Because yeah. Neil was our old manager. O'Neill. It got really fun in that van, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, Kenny Rogers, oh, yeah. happy birthday, rest in peace, man. Happy birthday, yeah. The only story I could find, really, to rival that was a story about James Blunt when he was at university. He apparently, when he was at university as a student, um, he was on a course with 40 other girls, and there was like three or four guys, and he said they were all vegans and vegetarians, and they were all a bit, I think they were all a bit up their own ass about it, really. So in protest, he became a full-time carnivore and ate nothing but... <laughs> Ate, ate nothing but mince and chicken for three months and ended up with scurvy. <laughs> I didn't even know he could get scurvy from that. I it's that a was... lack of vitamin C, apparently. Oh, so I, I mean, he was not eating any... He didn't eat any vegetables or just fruit. Just meat. Just meat, in protest. And then he yeah. went to the doctors, he said, and the doctor said, yeah, you, you've got scurvy. Me hearties. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't think anybody put pirates really and, I, and that only makes me like James Blunt even more. Yeah, he's whatever. whether you like his music or not, you can't deny that that guy is... He got a sense of humour. He's, he's hilarious. Ex-military man, you see, very funny. Yeah, yeah. take things too seriously. During the war. During the war. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's a great guy. He's James Bond. He's funny. Yeah. Not that I've met him, but you know. If, uh, uh, I'd love to know your opinion on a video I found um, t today. Actually, uh, a, a band that completely split rock fan rock and metal fans, and probably a cover that will completely split rock rock and metal fans. Is I just watched the uh, Nickelback do a cover of the Devil Run Down to Georgia. Mm. I'm assuming I'm assuming they are Charlie Daniels fans because uh, he di he died recently, didn't he? Well, that the, yeah, you know what? I've not picked up on that. That's probably why they covered yeah. it. Yeah. And it's good. It's good. It's rocking. Ah, like Nickelback. I'm nothing against them. They? You know, they get a bit of unfair stick, don't they? Really, but yeah. I, I mean, I heard it, overheard it when you were playing it. Then and it's, it does sound good. The it's just that typical overproduction kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it just sounds like it's like it's almost like it's been pieced, pieced together note yeah. by note. I don't know. I, I've gone out against the guys either, but... You know. have, a, have a listen. Have a listen and see what you think. Yeah, go check it out. And if you're going to check it out while we're on YouTube, you can check out the uh, two minutes to late night. Uh, we, after the, the Clutch Riff Raff cover, we discovered um, another cover, a Rush cover anthem, uh, with the guys from uh, the guitar player from... You might know the names better. Mastodon. Mastodon. Uh, Bill Kelleher, I think, right from Mastodon. Uh, the drummer from Tool. Singer from Coiv and Cambria. Yeah, Claudio Sanchez. It's a great, it's a great thing. I'll put that link down there. That's, that's a great. Go, go follow that channel. Cause Even they... if you're a Rush fan, I understand that you you're gonna go. <sighs> no, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's rocking. They tend to be laid back types, quite uh, su intellectually superior types that don't get riled up over such trivial matters. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go, go check that out. Well, uh, hopefully something more interesting happens this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, yeah. And um, while you're at it, you can all wish me happy birthday in the comments if you want. Um, not that I'm bothered about it. 30, 30 today. Happy 30th birthday, happy 30th Barry. 30th birthday, Barry. Would be nice. Appreciated. Keep laughing at it. <laughs>